Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got a couple stools and then we're heading to the bins. Uh, this freaking back handle, whatever, it's a reel to reel, vintage reel to reel. Rich bought it for a dollar last week, sold it on Facebook Marketplace for 15 plus the cost of shipping. So he's getting ready to ship that. And then we have one other tiny little brooch, little angel brooch that sold on eBay for five dollars plus cost of shipping i had it listed for seven and took a five dollar offer all right let's get these gone and then uh let's roll we made it here and i don't know how but we got a cart that wouldn't be hard to glue i'm gonna grab it Ooh, maybe I'm not. The base is full of concrete. Oh, it's a wiener dog. Oh, that's funny. Dolls. Oh. Maybe we should look it up. Oh, and of course, the day I have Keegan's car. There's no way that'll fit in Keegan's car. It's 20 bucks. All tree. Dude, that pisses me off. Oh, it's a frog. It's a macrame frog. Oh, I think I'm just all gonna grab it. At least for now. I might decide to put it back later. Zero idea where they are in the rotation. Why do I want to get this and put it on a raccoon? This is one of those situations where, like, it doesn't weigh anything. Screw it. I'm going to grab it. Easter's like a couple weeks away. I kind of like him.
projects. I don't weigh much. She's boothable. Oh, that moment you're jealous of something in someone else's cart. start going through this. That is a little ridiculous. The things you grab and you're just not entirely sure what you're going to do with them. <laughs> and I'm going to put like two things away. They're bringing out new bins so I'm, I'm kind of bailing on this for the moment. I think I've officially ran out of space and hopefully not all the money. I have a $50 budget. Some of this stuff is heavy so crush fingers. And of course it came to $51.05. Luckily I had a $2 in my wallet made it back. Wow. This is actually a pretty decent size haul. Spent uh, $51.05 I believe. Of course we have Griffin the inspector on duty. I'm just going to kind of start at the front and work our way back. I did decide this doll was a little creepy. At first I'm like oh it's not that creepy. Mm, it's a little creepy. It does have a mark on the back of his neck. So I'm going to do some research. I don't know much about this doll, to tell you the truth. Spoon uh, just gets tagged for the antique booth. I get about a buck a piece for him. These will get put away until winter. Super cute, just decoration pieces. I don't think that the brand's anything crazy. If I'm wrong, let me know. Otherwise, those are just going to get put away until um, fall. And they'll probably just get stuck in the booth. Vera Bradley! Have a hard time going to the bins without finding some Vera. Vera does sell in the booth. I can't sell Vera Bradley online to save my freaking life, really. You have to move your butts over that way. Um, but yeah, Vera sells pretty well in the booth for some reason. So this one's in really good condition. It's just black. It does have a pattern on the inside. If anybody's interested in it, let me know. Otherwise, it's going to the booth. Got some CDs, which honestly are pretty stocked in the booth right now, but I think we've sold at least, I thought we had more than this, but <laughs> we've sold at least four. I am going to look this one up online because it appears to be brand new. So I might stick this one online, but these three will get tagged for the booth. Eagles, Carpenters, and Jody Messina. This thing, I'm not entirely sure what it's Four, but it's like a little carousel thing. I thought it was neat. Another pair of vintage ice skates. These are men's, obviously. They are bear cat. Again, probably going to go in the shed until fall and they'll get put in the booth. This is like a vintage little tykes kitchen. I didn't look it up, but it doesn't weigh very much. So this will get put online, I'm pretty sure. Same with the Lego case. I sold a couple of these in the past. They usually go for like 20, 25 bucks. This one needs cleaned up very slightly, but otherwise it seems to be in pretty decent condition. This little guy is 
a vintage happiness aid. Oh, I have one of these already in the booth. Not this specific. It's a, a I don't know what it is. <laughs> a mouse, maybe? But um, this little guy will go to the booth. Probably one of my favorite things I found today. One of the first things I found. This freaking macrame frog. How cool is that? As far as I know, this is going online. Grabbed two books. Jurassic Park and Nora Roberts for Snow. I'm going to keep this one for a while. I may read it. I may sell it. I don't know. Jurassic Park can get listed now. Um, probably not for much, like five bucks free shipping or five bucks plus shipping, something like that. I grabbed these. They're um, food service disposable gloves, but I'm going to use them for when I'm just messing with dead things. I mean, <laughs> um, probably not like the real intense when I'm skinning. I'll probably use the heavier duty gloves, but if I'm just doing, you know, mummification art or whatever, I can absolutely use these. These, these are fine. So I'm keeping those. I have no idea what I'm going to do with these. There is a freaking ton of them. They're little flocked pigs and rabbits. Focus. They're adorable. And there's a metric shit ton of them. I'm going to try to look them up and see if I can find any info, but... I might like half them, do half in the booth, half online or something. I don't know. I have zero idea what I'm doing with those, but I just couldn't leave them behind. Now, you guys are going to get really mad that I'm complaining about this, but I did grab these for myself. I have extremely long eyelashes. <sighs> and here it comes. That get on my nerves. <laughs> They're natural uh, eyelashes. I've, I don't get them done or anything. And they, uh, the reason why... Part of the reason why I don't wear my glasses, like my actual, like, I am blind and need glasses to see glasses, are because my eyelashes hit the lenses. I have this horrible problem where I cannot find sunglasses where my eyelashes don't hit the lenses. It's an actual issue. So, I tried these on at the bins. They're a little wonky. I just need to, like, bend them back into shape, I think, because they were in the bins. But they're not scratched up or anything. And the aviator lenses, because they're, like, slightly bent, I have an easier time wearing them without lash issues. Got a little pin. Oh, this is marked Disney. Nice. Probably, like, five bucks. Probably not worth a ton. Blanket day. I always do pretty well with finding vintage blankets in the bins. This one does need some repair. Now, I've never done repairs on Afghans before, but hold on, I'm going to tie this real quick. Anyway, I'm not opposed to trying. This one, this one needs, hold on, this one needs uh, tied as well. My plan is just some, like, white thread. Jeez, this one, ugh. My plan is to take some just needle and thread and just kind of tie those back together. Tie these back together. We'll see. Otherwise, I mean, I can just stick it in the booth as is or stick it online as is and have somebody who knows what they're doing repair it because it is vintage granny squares and it is an older one. I quite like it. <laughs> I like it a lot, actually. I really like this one as well. It's so colorful and I love the edging. They did a really good job. I'm not sure if this one's going to go to the booth or get put online, but I'm thinking it might get put online. I do better with those online. Now this one is like a vintage kids blanket. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's definitely a clown. I can see it better now. How cute is that? Actually, it shows up way better on camera than it does to my eyeballs. I think that is so cute. It does have like a partial tag, but I, I can't really read it. It's pretty worn. I have no idea what that says. Um, but it is double-sided. The side's yellow with the white, and the side's white with the yellow. 
I thought it was adorable. My alien dude, as of right now, I'm keeping this guy. I'm also keeping this vintage flower wreath. I still have my, uh, my wreath on the door from Valentine's Day, so that needs to go. Bye-bye. So this is really cute for spring. Um, I like it quite a bit. So I'm going to replace the one that is currently on the door with this one put my little skeleton dudes up uh, with the spring wreath. She will go to the booth. She has marked something on the back of the neck, but I can't, I can't read it. 2FL maybe? I don't know. But uh, she will just get tagged and put in the antique booth. I grabbed this bag of flowers because the the books that I want to, projects, 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 the books that I want to crystallize, I seen someone do it with like a flower and it looked really neat. So these will get crystallized in books. That's the plan. Um, wooden shutter will get taken to the booth and tagged for, oh come on. Don't tell me it doesn't open because that would be. I thought I checked it though. Am I doing it wrong? I'll mess with it when I have two hands. And then, last but not least, I grabbed these two frames. They're very like shabby chic. Both will get put in the antique booth. I'm thinking like 18 bucks a piece. So, a majority of the money, not a majority, but over half of what I spent today will get replaced when these two sell. And then, oh yeah, go go check the pile. <laughs> um, so I've got some work to do. I gotta get all this stuff tagged, put away, ready to go. And um, we get paid in a couple of days. So I'm gonna have to make a trip out there. I'm gonna have this stuff ready to go by the time I go get the check. Whew. And I do have something that's supposed to be picked up today. I'll show you what it is. On my way out though I can show you. Yes, I still have the heart wreath up. So this is gonna get replaced by this. There it goes. Spring has sprung <laughs> with our little uh Rich and Chrissy bride and groom from our wedding. Those are just kind of a staple. You guys remember this picture? This was a bins pickup from I don't know a couple weeks ago. It's supposed to get porch picked up today uh, after four o'clock. So we've got a little while. I'll let you know if that goes through. Hmm. Interesting. After doing some research and looking these things up, they're worth about two bucks a piece. So I'm in a lot, probably, I do like lots of 10. Stick them on eBay. I feel like now I should have dug through that bin more. I'm pretty sure I got most of them though. And just like that, fish painting thing is gone. Sold for 50 bucks. I think I paid three for it at the bins. And then, no, guys, I'm going to sign you off. See you on the next. Later.